This is a Ryan Little production. Boom. Here we are. If the shoe fits. If the shoe fits. Volume. Volume two? Three? Well, you did the unboxing of the, the Reebok the Legacy. Legacies. Yeah, that was, uh, I guess that counts-ish. That counts. We'll call this three. We'll call this three. Episode hey. three. Hey. <laughs> three balls. <laughs> there it is. Uh, so what we're doing is actually we're going to go over the new uh, Reebok CrossFit Nanos. Nano 7. The so Nano we're talking seven. about it. And uh, on, I, foot, I've, on foot today as well. Oh, actually, I've got a... Oh, same, same one. Same these. Yeah. I was going to wear uh, those socks. Those are good ones for those. The little... Oh, the black Show the people. It's perfect. Perfect combo. Yeah, the black, the red logo is on there. Yeah. Um, I wore those uh, a couple days ago. Those in the washing machine. Excuse uh, plus, my hairy legs. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome for my hairy legs. Yeah. Okay. So I, I personally owned uh, every one of the, the Reebok, the Nanos, the CrossFit Nanos, uh, um, one through seven. I, and then you... I've had all of them except for these right here. The sixes. The sixes. Okay. But all the other rest of them I have had or are mine here. Yeah. A few got thrown away, but yeah. between the two of us, we still managed to cobble together. The I gave away line. both of these after a lot of use to uh, a friend who didn't have any uh, CrossFit shoes. And I mean, they're better off going to somebody that's going to use them than sitting in my garage collecting <laughs> dust. So. Yeah. Well, you don't have enough shoes at home anyway. I don't really have any shoes, so... <laughs> So uh, we're just going to probably run down real quick, talk about, and then we'll talk about the newest ones and kind of the changes and, and what we, you know, like or don't like, I guess, right? Yeah. So uh, old old standard here, the ones, I just picked this thing up for the first time, um, light. Those are, yeah, these are really light. Feel how, I mean, um, and the, the the sole, the foam on the side almost feels like uh, like you just Styrofoam like, almost. scrape it off. Yeah. Styrofoam. But these things are light. And also, these I These are the ones I that we put in the oven. I remember. Are these, oh, are these the, yeah, uh, they had the, uh, U-form. U-form. Yeah. I, I have in mine. Yeah. I U-formed mine. Yeah. So, uh, you want to pick that, any thoughts on that yourself? Personally, like, these are still, I think maybe because of, like, just the times in these mm -hmm. and, like, mm -hmm. the, and, like, the whole hype up about, yeah. like, an actual CrossFit shoe happening, like, I really like this one. More, it's probably more nostalgic. Yeah. As far as like functionality and comfort. Yeah. But, but like, they're super probably light. Probably my favorite one. They're light. Yeah, and they're light. And they're just kind of like, you know, it's that old school. It's really old and school. a few little things they put on, like the, the insole, they got the little, the you know, rope, rip there. The rope for like climbs. rope climbs. So there are. Nice wide toe box. Wide toe nice box. Nice flat sole for lifting. And and, and then, you, then you move on to the twos, where obviously they decided to make it a little more sturdy. Yeah. Um, you see some differences here, just like on the they, side. They swapped out this new buck for uh, like a leather, like, like suede leather. Now, one issue I had with these, though, that I remember is actually uh, this one's for mine. Um, you see the toe started to almost like wear it through in the top, and I think that was a product of uh, just a little bit softer on here. I remember wishing yeah, this a little is a lot softer than this. This is more of like a. Uh, it's about the same. Yeah, go right back. Through Sorry. It. Yeah, but also this this is definitely tougher material here. It's just like a thin. Thin material here, they got a little tougher. They added some grip here too for the rope, mm -hmm. yeah. like a, a Spanish wrap on top, yeah. And then a little bit tougher in the toe box, which I because that's I remember blowing out the toe of these, and so I was excited. These are a little bit, I believe the two is coined as the most comfortable nano yeah. that I was ever made. Anybody you talk to, this or kind not of by Dave Castro, them. yeah. Castro stays in the two, yeah. A lot of people when they talk about them, they say, like, oh, the twos are the best ones, yeah. Well, because then after that, the three now they start to eh, not a whole lot heavier. But you just tell a lot more substantial. Mm -hmm. You see the toe box a lot more here. Materials. Yeah, a lot more like plastic going across, like they're caged in the toe. I had these in white with the like the hyper pink toe. Oh really? Remember those? Mm hmm Yeah. I do. That's what I had. Um I do remember those. In fact, do we actually have uh where are our pink ones? We have some barbells. Oh, they're over here. We actually have some barbells for boobs, uh ones that exclusives. were exclusives. Exclusives. These are different though. Those, those are, are the, the these are the force. These are these. These are the fours. Yeah. Yeah, so for because uh, we um, we sell some uh, black pink hats, and so we donate some of that to Barbells for Boobs. And so anyway, they sent us a, a pair of shoes. See, so I said the pink. These are the fours, though. Yeah, these are the yeah, these are the fours. Okay. Oh yeah, these are I forgot we had these last week. Because these are kind of going our little uh, little wall of fame wall, shoe wall thing, shoes. and these mean a lot to us because they're you know the money goes to a good cause, and it's yeah. always cool to be a part of something well, special like let's that. Let's talk about the four with that one. It's the same same as this, you know. Yeah. yeah. So the the four. Uh, so they kept the the toe box, all the the plastic on there, but it's actually like an exoskeleton, like an exoskeleton, yeah. And it's actually even more. They like added to it, and I think a lot. They actually got a lot of pushback here on this. Did they? So I'm, I think so because 
um, you know, you can see the toes are kind of caving in. A lot of these, whatever, they're a little softer. And then with this one, they really reinforced it, but then it wasn't wasn't as soft. Mm -hmm. You almost felt like you're floating around in these. I love because I you're love like these. stuck. Yeah, they look I good. I love these. I really like the design as far as like this is probably one of my favorite designs that they did. I really liked these little squares here on the toe. And mm -hmm. I do like this like kind of rubber. These are actually extremely comfortable too. I really like yeah. these. Yeah. Um, maybe maybe not as like good, uh, good to work out in. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Which is the uh, design of the shoe, you know? Yeah. Uh, the moving down, so they said, okay, well, that didn't really work. So for the fives, they actually, they, they got rid of that. They discarded that, all that rubber on top and went to a softer, softer top again. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the Kevlar also. Oh, they, bu they busted out the Kevlar. Yep. This That's is right. A, this is when they first introduced the Kevlar skin mm -hmm. to the shoe for, like, you know, long-lasting durability. Now, uh, so, you got your CrossFit branding, like really big CrossFit oh, branding yeah. on the side here. Uh, you also have the Reebok here. Uh, the toe itself, the toe, the toe shape has not really changed much. No, very similar. Yeah, it's a very good shape. It's very good for you know minimal style feel. Give yourself a natural spread of the toes when you're walking or sprinting or whatever. Yeah. Also good for lifting. Um, shoelaces were extremely long on these, so you could really tie them <laughs> tight, and they're not going to come off. Yeah. The tongue also is when they got rid of the the material on the tongue. Oh, yeah. Really, with a really thin, thin really thin, thin there. tongue. Yeah. It's interesting. Uh, and then with the... Uh, and also, that's the year that the Nike Metcon 1s came out. Is this... Uh, and also, before we go too far, the 4 is when they also started with the ETC uh, anti-friction technology. Okay. And that was introduced with the 4 the first time. I what believe. did that help with? So you're not, like, getting, like... Uh, Blisters on the inside? Exactly. I thought Robin was racing. Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. All right. Uh, and then, uh, so that'll bring us, yeah, and so they got that five. That Still have a really good, you know, nice base heel for, yeah. you know, general. Solid. Hey, we want to talk about that, too. I think it was right around, actually, the three. They started hardening up a little bit more, it looks like, in the three. And then the, the four is when I think they really came in. Well, so is the this foam. This really. This was the this first one. This is like one. the first one. Yeah, so these are more of like a rubber, rubber outsole than the foam. Yep. Yeah. So the five is the first year with like that rubber house. And then uh, that brings to the six. Not a huge change. Not a huge change. Because this is when it started really becoming like an elite CrossFit fitness mm -hmm. fitness shoe. Yeah. Not like a casual, also can kind of train shoe. This is when it really became like... Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Let's make this like hey, made you know, for the sport. Like it was before. Before I mean, these it was, like, but this only, like yeah, these like progression. only CrossFit type. Mm -hmm. And it was like, okay, we realize people are using it. Then they stuck with the Kevlar here. Mm -hmm. The six is still the Kevlar going on. Um, hard sole. And uh, you, you actually, sell, or you, you don't have these, right? I do not have those. You do not have these. Um, so the bottoms are a little bit harder on them. I definitely noticed that. Um, has a Kevlar. I think that... Um, the tongue also, they went back to the padded tongue. They went back to a little bit of padded tongue. To be honest, between these two, I don't really know um, that, I, that I really cared. Like, the dip, like they were very similar. It was padded almost like the here, same shoe. Very similar. They added a loop. For to get them on in the back, I see here. Yeah. But again, I don't use that. I just go through the stomp and twist. Yeah, stomp and twist. You know what I mean? Totally ruin the structure tied. of the shoe. Leave them tied, the stomp and twist, you mm -hmm. know? Um, yeah, and so the, they cleaned up a little bit less. There's less going on up here. See the mm -hmm. toe. Mm -hmm. um, and that brings us to the, the newest one. Yes, this is very sevens. different. Um, so, first thing I kind of noticed with the sevens before I put them on well, one, we got these sweet ones that have the, uh, they're the, the St. Patty's Day specials. Okay. The Forge Your Own Luck. Forge Your Own, yeah. So on the inside, it actually says, yeah, Forge Your Own Luck, which I think is very cool. That basically have a, an entire tattoo with that theme on it. Yeah. So I like Now that. you have the shoes. The to match. shoes. Map. Um, going back to a thinner tongue. Yeah. And not only that, it's kind of a, it's like a moisture, almost like a moisture wicking yeah. pad, pad in there. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of an interesting touch. First time they did that. Um, the other thing I noticed um, is the the entire one piece is one like. piece mm -hmm. yeah it's not all broken up and it's but it feels solid you know it doesn't feel like the mesh um give that a give that a rip on yeah there. these these have like it's like a woven like a hard like a woven. woven yeah hard woven kevlar it's like two layers yeah I also got like it, an exoskeleton yeah there's two layers is in it there. kevlar i'm not sure Underneath, it feels like it might be maybe it's pretty tough I'm not really I'm not real sure i'm not sure no i was yeah. Nano weave, that's what it's called. The nano, nano weave. weave. Ah, that's, that's nano, nano weave. That nano weave. sums that up. Which is like, you know, it's it's actually really, really comfortable. And it's mm -hmm. these uh, move really well. Yeah. And so I actually I really like these. I think these are probably my favorite shoes since the twos. 
Right. I think they, well, I think they kind of came full circle now, really, if you look at it, mm -hmm. if you think about it, because they got away here in the threes, they started putting on these, these exoskeleton, all that type of stuff, and they started getting a little bit heavier, you know, mm -hmm. and I feel like this one, they really kind of went back to basics, mm -hmm. um, a little simpler. But with the, um, tell them the biggest difference about this back so, area. So what I really noticed about these is that the heel, if I look at all these other ones, the rubber comes all the way to the, to the edge here. Um, this one, however, they have actually, it's called the, it says the shell, just says five millimeter shell on it, but the, it's like a hard plastic, might be a foam, or I think it's like a hard plastic. Um, hard to say. Hard to say. Hard to say. It's yeah. definitely hard. It's a shell. Anyway, it sticks out further than the, than the rubber sole does. Mm -hmm. And so I believe this is their answer to the, the Metcons that have the, the heel the that fin. pops out. Got a little fin. So the Nike Metcon, who this their their third, they have the three out now, right? Yep. And so all of them. I mean, this is the very first one on the back of the heel. There's a little fin that sticks out. That's hard the rubber. First ones didn't have that. First ones didn't have it. Nope. Okay, so the starting the twos, and so that's for like on a handstand push-ups. So if your heel's against the wall, the the plastic will slide on the wall rather than your heel kind of getting caught on it. At, you know, most uh, you know. These are built obviously for everyday CrossFitters and also for their top athletes in the sport who are always going to be doing handstand push-ups on a, yeah. uh, what's that called, uh, that plastic? Well, like on a yeah, plywood wall, uh, plexiglass. Plexiglass wall. Yeah. Or I mean, even like a cement wall, or like cement. with a painted painted cement surface, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, and they still have a lot of the, the things that really kind of separated it to begin with, which is it does, the sole does come up a little bit inside and on the outside. It actually even the says. The Rope Pro. The Rope Pro. So I, that's patent pending technology, yep. I imagine. Yep. So you got the Rope Pro going on. Um, they got that shell. Also, you see just on the inside here, it's reinforced a bit. Yeah, that's um, so that way rope for the rope. Again, back to the ones. There's a Reebok these, logo there, but not. You know, actually, these uh, I've seen other pairs that these really got burned up on, right. the, on the ropes. Mine yeah. necessarily didn't with this shoe. Mine been my other side. I don't mm -hmm. can't remember. Well, but, if you look looking at these now, they actually nothing really substantial on there. I mean, this is the excess nothing really. This one they actually put a little bit of grip on there mm -hmm. with that uh, with the four a little extra ladder, a little grip. extra ladder. It's still that plastic, and then you have the Kevlar. So anyway, they really kind of they reinforce that here. I like the look at that. Um, mm -hmm. One thing that really stands out. It looks good. But this hard plastic that kind of comes up around the heel, you do feel kind of locked in. You do feel, definitely feel locked in. That would be really good for like Metcon lifting, mm, like yeah. literally doing barbell work. Your feet are going to be feeling really solid, really planted. And then uh, uh, just from experience exercising these, working out, um, compared to the other Nanos, also compared to the, to the Metcons actually, uh, I also, I really feel like, and this might sound like a negative, but it's not necessarily, when I'm, when I'm wearing these, I feel like I'm standing on a really thin piece of plywood. Hmm. You know what I mean? They mm -hmm. feel, so, I feel like I have some solid under my feet. Mm -hmm. um, whereas some of the older ones, and even like actually almost too much, too much moving around. Almost too much moving around, or like the actually like the the Nike Metcon twos. I can I can feel the ground under mm -hmm. my feet a little bit, which I kind of like, mm -hmm. or I always think I like in day to day life. I like it. Mm -hmm. However, um, when I have these on, I feel like I got some really solid under my foot. And when I'm working out, it feels great though. Mm -hmm. So I I don't mean that as a negative. Yeah. Um, it's actually it feels good. Yeah. You know. And the shoe at the end of the day isn't made for you know doing your groceries runs and it's made for training yeah. oh well, i yeah i mean i pretty much just live in no work, yeah work which is shoes. no absolutely it's great life absolutely. it's a great life to live but you know and the design the design integrity was built around all right across exactly. training which does a good job of yeah all right so there you go so that's kind of a, a rundown of the whole metcon line um finishing Very up quick, there with but, uh, but cool finish it up and and again um you know we don't have all the uh, exact names of everything this just from from a couple people who have owned them yeah. and worn them and, and kind of what from we the think. people for the people. <laughs> and what we think of the, the latest the latest version of it. Latest yeah. iteration. I really you know? think like as far as the design aspect, like they're they buy, uh, they, they look by the far best. the best looking also. They by far look the best. Also, quick turnaround on these. Um generally they're released a year apart, uh, right around the CrossFit games or mm -hmm. at the games. Um this one came out in January. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a six month turnaround compared to the other ones which were all um a year apart. So that's kinda mm -hmm. interesting aspect too, is they changed the release from a summer release to a to a January and, uh, and, and you know what? I don't know exactly what is going down with the Nano 8, but I know that it's going to be coming out this year. Yeah, really? It'll be out this year. Really? It's, I believe so. So was this technically out last year or this year? I believe it was started like around for the Open, right? Because I remember they released mm -hmm. that black colorway with like the rainbow sole, like mm -hmm. the yellow, orange sun sole. So those came out, you know, not that long ago. It was definitely this year. One, one thing that's really cool, now we're kind of backing up, backpack. one thing that's cool too is the, the ability to 
customize them. It's mm -hmm. so like, for example, these um, actually have American flag soles. The other one has stars and stripes and has, you know, um, I even, my twos, Dean was, was uh, noticed earlier that I actually had CF Excel, CrossFit Excel, it's my gym, um, was, you know, stitched on there. I've had, uh, I got some for my, my wife that have been, um, you know, custom embroidered on them. They said Man Bar, yeah. that's her nickname, yeah. tough. And anyway, so uh, you can, you know, it's kind of a cool little thing. You can actually get them custom made. Um, Right so on the side, different colorways. Real quick, the only one that has the pull lab tab is the six. Must not have been a big hit. Yeah, a lot of people do the stomp and twist. You know, like I feel like these are always more for like I don't, I, I feel like I use them, but not I don't. I don't. Yeah. It's hard to say. Yeah, but also yeah. another thing, they have still going with the etc mm. on the seven. No blisters here. This is like this is something that you definitely don't really think about. You'd notice until you actually step in and you feel like, yeah. oh wait, I'm not, I'm not feeling like I'm gonna I'm gonna chafe up here. Yeah. So you're walking yeah. around the games, you get that games chafe. Ah. Uh, you don't want that. You definitely want, not want games mm -mm. chafe. No. Usually not on your feet, though. Doesn't really happen on your on your feet during the games chafe. Oh, well, I'm just saying. Game, in general. In general. Chafe. In general. Yeah. Gold bond. Yeah, gold bond. And keep it on deck. Yeah. All right. There it is. If you guys have any questions about, you know, our thoughts on the, the various types of nanos or on the specifically on the newest ones, um, anything like that, make sure to let us know in the comment section. Uh, we'll make sure to respond to you, get back to you. So uh, here we go, another episode of If the Shoe, Fit. the Shoe Fits. All right, thanks a lot.